Hey everyone and welcome to the final video in my quick action series and this one is on PDF quick actions with the addition of creating a QR code in Adobe Express. Now if you haven't seen any of the other videos I've done on quick actions for Adobe Express, be sure to check them out and I'll leave a link to each of them below and a link to the playlist. But today we are going to be focusing purely on quick actions for PDFs. And these are some of the most common things that people want to do with PDFs. Now let's take a quick look at them. You've got convert to PDF, you've got convert from PDF, edit text and images, organize pages, and of course, combine files. We're going to be covering all five of those in this video, and then right at the end, I'm going to show you how to generate a QR code inside of Adobe Express. Okay, let's get started. So let's start at number one, convert to PDF. So by clicking on this, you can see here, I can drag and drop any Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or any image file type to convert this to a PDF. So I'll go over to browse on my device. Let's go to my downloads folder. And here's a demo brief that I've got as a Microsoft Word document. I'm just gonna click upload. And this will simply generate a PDF from that Microsoft Word document. Once it's finished, it'll open that document and then allow me to download it. We can go over now to my downloads folder and we can see there is the PDF of my Microsoft Word document. And what about if you need to convert from a PDF? We don't need to bother with Googling anything. You can simply come into Adobe Express, click on convert from PDF. And you can see here, you can drag and drop a PDF to export as any of the following file formats. Again, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, PNGs, JPEGs, rich text formats, and of course, Microsoft Word documents. So let's browse on my device. I'm gonna to go to this PDF here, different one. We're gonna hit upload. And you can see here, I've got 17 pages in here. And now I'm given the option to convert from PDF to any of these. So perhaps I might wanna convert it to a PowerPoint or an Excel. In this instance, I'm gonna go PowerPoint and I'm gonna hit download. Our artificial intelligence Adobe Sensei, of course, will analyze this document in the browser and be able to convert this from a PDF to a file format of our choosing. In this instance, a PowerPoint. Now, once that's done, I can go across to my downloads folder and there's the PowerPoint document, .pptx. And just like that, I've converted it from a PDF to a PowerPoint document. Now, what about if we needed to edit text and images inside a document? Well, we can do that from Adobe Express. And let's do that now. So if I come over to the third option, I'm gonna go browse on my device. It's gonna ask me to choose the file to upload. Let's go with the sessions deck here. I'm gonna upload that. And once it's uploaded, it goes through a process of preparing the document to be able to edit. Now, keep in mind, I am still in the browser and I'm now editing a document inside of that. So here we are, as you can see here, I've got a number of things, perhaps I needed to change some of these out. And as you can see, I have some basic editing functionality. I can change some text to whatever I need to. It even honors the font utilizing Adobe fonts and of course images, which is extremely important. So again, if I didn't have the original document to edit this, I can use Adobe Express in the browser in order to invoke an editing process. And this is how you would do it right here. And you can see when I click on specific images, I can right click on those, I can delete them, I can rotate them, I can replace them if I wanted to. And then by clicking on the text functionality here, you'll see here up the top, I can either add text or change the font and so forth. And I can do that all inside of the browser, which is really handy. Now, of course, once I've finished that, I download it and the PDF is finished in order for me to grab. And what about if we need to organize pages? And I don't mean just pages of a document, I mean multiple documents. So things like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel. What about if you get emails of all this stuff and you needed to put into one document? Well, you can do that in Adobe Express utilizing organized pages. 
So if I click on Organize Pages, you can see here I can drag and drop any of the following file formats, reorder them, delete them. And again, we support PDF, Microsoft Excel, PNG, JPEG, all of that. So let's browse on my device. Let's get a couple of things here. So we'll get that Word document. Let's get this PowerPoint document. Mm, perhaps we'll get this PDF as well. Let's go Upload. So we've got three things already going through. Okay, there are three documents. We're gonna upload those files and it's going to combine them into one single source of truth. This is a great way to collate all of those files into one working document. Once I get them into place, I can do a couple of things here inside the browser. I can select particular pages. I can reorder them, okay? I can move them around. I can extract that image. Perhaps I want to shift them to this side. Perhaps I want to move them down here. Or perhaps I want to move this one back up to here. You can see by just simply click holding and dragging and dropping, I'm just simply organizing these pages really easily. I can even rotate the pages if I feel like it's necessary. In this instance, it's not, but you get the idea, right? And as I scrub through, I have all my pages here ready to go. And then once done, I can extract them out as PDF pages. And then there they are. All 36 pages organized nice and neatly from multiple documents that I've selected. Okay, on to the last one. What about if we needed to combine files? Don't get anyone else to do this. Do it yourself with Adobe Express. Now, by clicking on Combine Files, again, we get to choose what documents we want to combine. So let's go into this one here, the Word document and the PDF. We'll click Upload, and those two will simply combine. So there you are, those two files have dropped in, but I can even add more if I wanted to. So if I click on this button here, by clicking on the plus button, let's just grab this photo here of one of our recent events. So if I hit upload, it's gonna not only upload that file into Adobe Express, but combine it with these file formats. So you can see how powerful this tool is by combining multiple file formats into one working document. Go ahead and click download. It'll then spit out a PDF version of this, and then I'll be able to use that PDF wherever I need to. See how it's done there. Go back to hit my finder, into downloads. There's all the files, as you can see. And there, right at the end, is the image. Fantastic. Right, now the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to generate a QR code inside of Adobe Express. So obviously, you would simply go to QR code, generate QR code, and this is where you can actually create different styles. So, for example, I might wanna create this style, give it a color, we can even do a file format. So let's just say it's a JPEG. So in this instance, I'm gonna grab the Adobe Express series link that I created in Adobe Express. By the way, if you wanna see a future video on how to create pages in Adobe Express, please let me know in the comments below. So I'm gonna grab that link and I'm gonna just paste it in here and hit create QR code and download that. Now that I've got that downloaded, here is my QR code on Adobe Express, and I'm just gonna leave that there for a second um, because that's the page that I created, and I'd love for you to go and check it out. It's got a list of all the videos, including this one will be uploaded, and a link to all my socials, so I encourage you to have a look and let me know what you think. And that's it. Editing PDFs inside of Adobe Express could not be simpler. And that rounds off my quick action series in Adobe Express. I hope you enjoyed it. Just in case you missed the others, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can go ahead and watch all of them. And just remember, Adobe Express is all about speed and ease, being able to get things done quicker. So if this series has helped you in any way, I would love to hear what you think down in the comments below. And of course, if there are any other videos you'd like me to create on Adobe Express, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to do those. And finally, if you like what you see here, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more, of course, hit subscribe. And remember, never stop creating.